Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading for July 2020. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages are general, so they may or may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. What's going on with Sagittarius? Oh boy. Sagittarius for the month of July. What's going on with Sagittarius in their love life? Okay. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And we have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. We have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy towards others. We have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Looks like July is going to be quite fun for you, Sagittarius. We got all positive cards. All positive cards. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of closeness, a lot of playfulness. Especially if you're single, you're probably going to be like flirting and enjoying your life. But if you're in a relationship, it looks like there's going to be a lot of closeness. A lot of expression of love, feelings being revealed playfulness and just alone time with this person that you're with looks good for now i hope it gets better hold on what's their energy towards sagittarius what's their energy towards sagittarius we have death oh my god I feel like currently there may be some there may be some um, conflicts going on or in the recent past because we have this death card right and I feel like there's gonna be a transformation like a what do you call it a transition from this type of energy so if you've been in conflict with your person there's gonna be a transition from that to I feel to this good energy up here and I feel like it will be further on in July um, keep in mind that it is Mercury retrograde until the 12th of July, so it would be understandable if you have conflicts going on right now or there's issues with communication. It looks to me like, you know, once the retrograde is done after the 12th of July, that things could really, you know, transform and be better for you and your person. But as I said, if there's conflicts right now, it's not surprising because the Mercury retrograde. So we have the Nine of Cups here. This person might be, they're probably at the moment just being a little bit selfish or kind of self focused. I don't know. There's something to do with that. What's Sagittarius's energy towards this person? Okay. Yeah, so you're kind of on the fence here with them, like you're probably a little bit confused by their behavior in the recent past or currently. So you're kind of stepping back because you probably feel like there could be conflict if you say anything to them, if you go forward, you know, if you make any moves. So you're kind of like trying to make a decision here, but you're definitely on the fence. Their energy is kind of making you standoffish i guess this could be vice versa by the way it could be them kind of standoffish if they feel like you could be still wanting to argue we have the three of pentacles here so i feel like you're just trying to you're just trying to get along with them but they're making it difficult but with the death card here this could really change so death card death card is scorpio so some of you could be dealing with a scorpio what's the energy of this relationship this connection yeah communication is an issue here the communicate like they could have said some harsh things they could have said some harsh things to you like the communication could be really um troubled right now troubled but with this ace of pentacles there is that you know potential for that new start i do see a lot of transformation coming in july it's going to be like right in the middle of july things really change like the energy of this changes the communication may open up we have the ace of cups as well 
So there is going to be some type of new beginning here. It's almost like it's almost like when you first met, right? Um, I hope this is not picking up on an abusive situation because I don't know why that's coming to me now, but with the honeymoon card and things being rough and then it just switching on to that honeymoon phase, I hope it's not that for you. But I feel I feel there's gonna I feel like it's just a Mercury retrograde effect in this relationship to be honest, because what's to come is looking more positive than the current situation. So let me get into your spread and see what's going on. All right. Sagittarius. What can Sagittarius expect in love in July? What's going on with Sagittarius in their love life during the month of July? All right. Pentacles. You still got that two of pentacles going on. Still trying to figure things out. You see, five of wands is back and it's in the position of what's blocking. So clearly there's conflicts going on right now. There is some headbutting, I guess, disagreements. It looks, I feel like for you, it looks impossible that this could, you know, improve. But I'm seeing that it will. Especially you being in this Nine of Pentacles energy. If you are very focused on you and just living in the moment, you can attract positive change when you're in that energy. But right now, you just really, it's kind of turbulent, your feelings towards this person. I feel like it's because of how they've been acting. And we have the Ace of Cups is how you're seeing them. So some of you are seeing potential for a new beginning. But I feel like you're just being really positive about it. we got the Queen of Wands here. So this is your energy. Could be dealing with a Pis Pisces. Maybe a Pisces. Could be dealing with Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius. But there is emotional distance. The current energy of the relationship. Eight of Cups. There's... Cu there's Emotional distance, there's definitely a communication issue here. But this person, they've got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So in July, this person is going to be really um, focused on the relationship. If you guys are married, they're going to be more active in the marriage. Like, I feel like right now, things are just off and it's like, it's going to transform into the opposite after mid-July, you know? Because even for them, they've got all these positive cards, this energy towards you in the future, as in July, going towards the middle and end. They're seeing you as the magician. And you see this energy. This is exactly why they end up having to fix their behavior because it's like, Especially if you're kind of distancing yourself from the situation, if things have been too rough, they're going to look at you like, you know, that person that they always have to go towards, you know, because maybe you're not entertaining their bad behavior. So they have to try another approach to come towards you. All right, we've got the hands, man. This this speaks of a change in perspective. So with the death card and the hanged man, the definite, there's definitely change coming. There's going to be, it's like your person's going to be seeing things a lot differently. Right? So for you, it's like just sit back and wait and you'll see a change. Especially if you're putting less effort into it. Like if you're just letting it be and letting it flow naturally, this person will have room for them to really think about things and change their perspective, have a change of perspective on the whole situation. So, why the Ten of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they're gonna be realizing what they've lost. 
they're going to be realizing what they've lost you know they're going to start with this ten of pentacles they're going to see start to see the value in this relationship and in how they feel about you the three of cups will speak about reconciliation so it's like realizing realizing that whatever whatever they're doing is not working and they need to try a different approach why the ten of cups we have the empress some of you may have kids or you may be pregnant if you especially if you're pregnant they're definitely going to fix their act and make it work all right but in general they're still really attracted to you the attraction is not going anywhere but we got this queen of wands in reverse who is not a happy person so your person it's like they kind of throw tantrums or they're just in a mood in the recent past or currently but that is just i'm going to call it retrograde behavior because i feel like that's really the trigger right here it's the whole issue of communication so why the two of pentacles okay yeah you're feeling you're kind of going back and forth because you may feel lied to or if not lied to then just disrespected by their words or even just their lack of communication and you're feeling like you're feeling drained but at the same time some of you are are in love like you love this person or care about them so it's like you're kind of juggling about what to do some of you may feel like it's better to take a playful approach towards this person why the nine of pentacles we have the fool some of you may be taking a leap in your career or just doing something that is going to better your life you're taking a step in the right direction for yourself it could be financially it could be just with your health or just um your mind your you know taking care of yourself but it could be a business so i feel like when you put your focus into something else that's when this area of your life can really start to flourish, start to change because you've let you've let it be. You've, you've put it in the hands of the universe. You know, if your person's acting up, just trust the universe, put your energy into something that's going to benefit you and you'll see a change over here with them. OK, so why the magician? Why the magician? seven of pentacles you see the more they have to wait for you the more they're gonna feel drawn to you they're gonna feel that energetic pull you know and this eight of swords in reverse they're gonna realize it's like the eight of swords in reverse is like coming to certain realizations realizing that this could be them realizing that it's their behavior that has them that is getting them the, the uh, why can't i speak you see about the freaking retrograde their behavior like the mat the the oh my god the blindfold falls off they come to that realization that their behavior has been affecting this relationship because if you go and focus on something else and they see that they're still upset or this and that then they must realize that there's something that they're doing that is affecting the situation so with that eight of swords and that seven of pentacles they may feel like they've done everything they can do but they're going to realize they probably haven't so that's when you know the clarity comes for them and they can start to have that change of perspective like seeing things differently seeing what they need to do you know oh my gosh i can't believe i can't speak this bloody retrograde okay the hanged man the hanged man the eight of pentacles ten of wands 
that realization of that the fact that they need to work on things they could be they're going to be seeing things differently it could be either because you are focused on yourself and you've kind of released certain burdens from your life it could also be could also be the fact that they have to put in the effort that they're probably seeing that they haven't put in as much as they thought they had put in to this relationship the page of cups in reverse they're seeing that they haven't done enough and i feel like it has to do with you kind of distancing yourself and doing your own thing so this eight of cups it could be you who's distancing yourself you know going to focus on you and they start to realize what they're doing isn't working, the conflicts, the arguments, it's not working, so let's do something different. We have bring love into the situation, could be dealing with an Aquarius, expect powerful change, you see what I mean? Emotions are running high, and adjustments are required, so you could see that they, I, I feel like this is for them, bring love into the situation. They may realize that they haven't been doing enough, haven't been putting enough love in, it's just been conflict and drama. But we have expect powerful change, as I said, because remember it started off amazing, and then all the conflict came out. But that's gonna change, and I'm looking at the middle of July, like after this blooming retrograde is over, because it really is affecting a lot of situations. It's definitely the, the worst one I've ever had. That's why I'm late with these readings. <laughs> so there you go, you know. Emotions are running high. I feel like this person is, it's like they're in their feelings, right? But they're expressing these feelings with anger instead of just coming out and expressing how they feel, you know. Especially with express your love. I feel like they're, they're, for some of you, they're translating their feelings into anger. Like, it's coming off as anger or frustration, but really it's emotional issues. And maybe they're trying to just come off tough and unbothered, but it's, it's not. It's, they need to say what's really going on. But that will come to them anyways, you know. It will hit them that they've been doing it all wrong. We have romance, let go, no need to worry and don't stop. I see, you see these two right here? Let go, no need to worry. So it's like, oh, they're making noise upstairs now. It's like, if you let go, you don't have to worry that it's going to be over, you know. Just let go, let the universe do what it's doing. Just be very positive about it, carefree, and focus. Really, they're so loud. <laughs> focus on you. Focus on your career, especially if you've got this career going on. I feel like that will really breathe life, life into your relationship aspect because you'll be giving it a break. You'll be leaving it to the universe, leaving it to God or whoever. And that shows real power, real strength. Right, it takes strength to let go. It's like the hardest thing for human beings to do. So if you could do that, you'll have there'll, there'll be nothing to worry about. I feel like don't stop has to do with whatever you're focused on, aside from this relationship. And I feel like everything will just merge together after the 12th of July. <laughs> okay. So Sagittarius, this is what I'm seeing for you. Not many signs came out. We got we had Scorpio. We got Aquarius and Libra. Those are the main signs that came out. But we do have the King of One, the Queen of Wands, King of Cups, which is fire and water. So there's fire signs and water signs. But not much signs. All right, so Sagittarius, this is what I'm seeing for you for July. Leave a like if you enjoy. Check your other placements if you want to know what else is coming up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and thank you so much for watching.